Hey guys, Wellen Customs here, and we are doing another V-Blog because we have some stuff to do today. I haven't done this in a while, so why not? All, usually when I'm alone in the car, I do the V-Blogs because I'm lonely and I like talking to you guys. But today we took the day off. We had some errands to run and let's have some fun, guys. I'm going to talk about movies I saw, all the new coming toy lines are coming out, all the new Marvel Legends and Mezcos. I have an unboxing. I'm actually going to Long Island right now to pick up a package because if you guys watch my other videos, I always send my packages back to my house in Long Island because I don't have a doorman in the city and it's just hell trying to get packages sent to your, your building and the city. You're always going to miss it. People might steal it. I don't want to go through all that. So I just send it back to my house and I don't have to worry about it. Ironically, they didn't drop it off though. They left a notice because it was so big that they didn't know where to put it. Um, which is not bad. I, I'll go pick it up. Long Island's a nice, quiet place. I, I don't mind taking a drive. But, yeah, so we'll see what I got. I'm really happy and excited for it. But other than that, man, so many toys coming out. It's insane. Um, <clears throat> so let's, let's talk. Let's hang out. Uh, first of all, toys. Man, this summer we are going to be spending a lot of money. I don't know about you. Obviously, the... Uh, Vulture series for Spider-Man Homecoming has come out already, right? And then, now the Netflix series is coming out from Marvel Legends. And man, they just started rolling out. People are getting them. A couple of people got them last week already for pre-order. Uh, they're definitely rolling out now. I know that today, as of today, Wednesday, the 19th, I believe, right? Of July, Forbidden Planet in the city. If you guys live in New York City, Forbidden Planet has them. I called them this morning to see what they have. And they actually do have the Netflix wave. So if you guys are, are interested in that, go pick it up. Go right now. Hopefully you don't watch the video too late. But they have them and they're rolling out. And not only that, just as, as of yesterday or two days ago, people on Facebook have been posting that they've been finding the new Marvel Legends for Ragnarok, the Thor series. Like, Jesus Christ, they're coming out. Back to back to back. You know, I think Marvel Legends always does pop out two waves at a time. So that's not uncommon. But man, these waves, these both of these waves, the Netflix series and the Ragnarok wave, everyone wants the whole wave. You know, the Spider-Man wave, I only want a couple of, couple of figures. You know, I, I wanted the homecoming suit of Spider-Man. Um, I wanted the, what else was there? Tombstone. That was good, I was good for that. Oh, that's fine for me. But... Netflix, you get all those figures. You got Punisher, you got Daredevil, you got Blade. Maybe make a new Blade finally. I know the last Blade we had was the Wesley Snipes one from Toy Biz, which was awesome. But it's, it's about time we had a new Blade figure, so I'm so happy about that one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, now Ragnarok's coming out, and people are they're popping up in California. People are gonna be running after that one, and not only that. Not only that, Mezco this morning has announced a new bunch of figures that they're coming out with, and they have their own Ragnarok, Ragnarok Thor figure, their own Hulk figure, which looks awesome. That might be better, to be honest. And they got Batman Beyond. Oh, man. It's going to be a tough 2017. Actually, I'm not really sure when the Mezco ones come out, because they just got announced, but... You never know. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to the date. But I was just looking at them. They're awesome looking. Oof. So yeah. What else is new? So yeah. I am stuck in traffic right now. It's a nice sunny day. I might go tanning in my backyard. Gotta get that tan bod going. You know what I mean? But. <clears throat> let's talk about some movies that I just watched recently. Because. I finally watched The Mummy. I also watched Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, I'll start with The Mummy first because I don't know if anyone really cares about that. So I'll, I'll go through it really quickly. It wasn't a bad movie. I thought it was pretty good actually. I think it was... I don't know if it got the... I, I don't know if people thought it was a bad movie. That's why no one watched it. But I, I enjoyed it. I actually did enjoy it. Maybe my expectations were a little bit low because I know a lot of people didn't watch it or think highly of it. But I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the, the woman that plays The Mummy, you know, the bag bad guy in it she is smoking hot and when she's a mummy I have to admit I join her cause I don't know about you but I would a train on top of me alright 
right. Yeah, so it was pretty entertaining. And, you know, of course, this is the new series going into their monster movie series. So it's a pretty good setup for future movies. Um, I'm not really sure how much this movie made, The Mummy did, overall, worldwide. So hopefully it made a decent amount for them to keep going. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good movie. So if you're not going to watch it in the theaters, definitely try to watch it when it comes out on DVD or like that or something. I think you'll enjoy it. You know what? When, when, when was the last time, you, honestly, you never... You know, Tom Cruise is someone that I didn't care that much about for a while. I kind of just liked him. But I came around and I realized something that I don't think I've ever watched a Tom Cruise movie I never liked. Alright? Oblivion was awesome. The other one was like, he keeps going back in time after he dies. They're all good. And I, I'm like, you know, why do I just keep doubting him for it? He's awesome. He's a very entertaining actor. I give all of his movies a shot. And then, like I said, for The Mummy, it's pretty good. So uh, definitely check it out if you can. Now, the Spider-Man Homecoming. I thought that movie was fantastic. And I am the first to admit, I love Marvel. I love DC. But I'm a DC heart. I'm a DC fan. You know, it's DC all the way for me. I love Batman v Superman. I love the Wonder Woman. Batman v Superman, the extended cut was even better. But I actually like the original theater cut. I didn't mind that at all. But I have to admit, I love my Spider-Man movies also, and I thought this was a fantastic, excellent movie. Very entertaining all throughout. Very funny as well. Um, it's been sadly, it didn't. You know, it was number one the first weekend it came out. This past weekend was the second weekend it lost to Planet of the Apes. Uh, so it lost, it lost its first spot, you know, right there. But hopefully, as the weeks go on, it'll get it'll gather some more money because it deserves it, man. It's such a great, fun, excellent movie. And Tony Stark really wasn't in it a lot, which a lot of people thought. You know, everyone watches the trailers before the movie, and they're like, oh, they gave away the movie, blah, blah, blah. I mean, what do you expect's going to happen, you know? You know, in the end, you know, Spider-Man saves the day, you know, but... Still very good. There's a lot of curveballs they throw into the movie, which I'm not going to spoil. I know some of you have probably seen it obviously already, but it's a fantastic movie. I enjoyed it a lot. And I'm really excited now for Avengers. Actually, before Avengers, screw that. We have Ragnarok Rock to come, and we're going to watch that and see Thor <coughs> and the Hulk. So that would be fun. But oh man, Tom Holland was a great Spider Man. Awesome Peter Parker. I think he's more of a. See, I like this because. He wasn't just, you're watching this movie, and he, you're not just watching him as Spider-Man, you're watching him as Peter Parker, watching him evolve. And I like how he, he's still very green, extremely green, which I like a lot, actually. And you get to see him, you know, evolve and learn and do all this stuff, so it's great stuff. Oh, the supporting cast is awesome, his chubby Asian friend is awesome. Uh, yeah, good stuff. And Michael Keaton, man, he is the man. Do not mess with him. Do not mess with him. Uh, definitely the best, one of the best villains in all superhero movies. Aside from the Joker and Loki, definitely top, he's part of the top three in my opinion. Alright, so what else is new? I'm trying to see what else I could talk about before I edit this and skip ahead. So later today, as we are heading to Long Island in traffic, I'm going to go pick up my package it's got it's gonna be at the post office oh that's actually another thing I want to talk about so I, I pre-ordered something obviously and I'm, I'll show you when I get it but I don't pre-order a lot I pre-order pre sometimes but when I usually usually do pre-order I get it from Big Bad Toy Store but a lot of people on Facebook have been doing all these different sites like um, Entertainment Earth right or Dork Side Toys and there's another one also also a AF action figure junkies also do pre-orders and a lot of people do pre-orders so there's so many different sites that I never experienced or tried so with this new set of toys that I bought I wanted to try it out and I, of course my my standalone staple always is Big Bag Toy Store so I ordered two pre-orders I ordered one from them because I always know I could rely on them and the second one I ordered from Dork Side Toys right so try it out, you know, Dorkside Toys actually did, pre did ship out earlier than Big Bad Toy Store. 
and I'm, I was happy about that. I'm like, awesome, this is a good site. I'll probably keep ordering from them then. And then, and then, my package had an attempted attempt delivery, and it didn't deliver. Okay, that's fine, right? They said they couldn't, they couldn't find a secure location to drop it off. That's cool of me, right? So then I, I text my sister, oh, you know, I had a package that was dropped off. You know, let me know if you see the slip. Drop, leave it on the counter for me. I'm, I'll go pick it up, right? And she tells me, yes, I found it. But just to let you know, there's a $20 charge that they're charging you. I'm like, what? I'm like, what do you mean it's a $20 charge? And she showed me a picture of it. And at the end, it says, I owe the USPS, US Postal Service, $20.47. It's like, well, why, right? I never heard of that. That's ridiculous, right? Because I ordered from Dork Side Toys. I paid extra shipping, right, to get it, you know, fast shipping. I paid extra. And now USPS is still tra charging me. So I don't know what the problem is. I'm going to find out and see what it is. And then I was doing some research online. You know, I should really contact Dorkside Toys first, but I'm going to settle it first anyway, no matter what, because they can't do anything right now. Um, but what people have been saying is that most likely what happened is that Dorkside Toys probably created their own shipping label at their, uh, at their factory. And then USPS comes and picks it up, uh, you know, they do a pickup for them. They just give it to them, and they print it out whatever, and pay it whatever. Until it gets processed at the, sh at the uh, sorting plant at the post office, then they realized, oh, Dorkside Toys didn't pay enough money for this specific speed in shipping. We're going to still ship it out, but we'll charge the other person at the end which is me basically and if that's the case which I will find out today that's pretty messed up I'm definitely gonna have to uh, I'm not I was mad about that at first but you know you can't be mad and think irrationally you have to be calm everything has a way of settling things so I'll go to the USPS post office and they charge me 20 bucks I'll pay it but then I'll get all my receipts and I'll contact Dorkside Toys, show them everything, my claim, my order number, how much I paid, and then we'll see what happens. You know, hopefully they will reimburse me the money in some form, either a check or maybe a refund or store credit, that's fine with me. But yeah, we'll get it settled, we'll see what the heck the problem is with that. But that's just something for you guys to know about my experience with Dorkside Toys. Like I said before, I'm not you know, I was kind of sh thrown back about because I never even experienced that before, you know. It's so weird. I mean, I imagine I was there at home and I did get the package and the guy's like, oh, you, the postal, you know, the post, the email man comes, like, oh, you owe us 20 bucks. Like, oh, 20, $20.47. Like, oh, really? Like, how am I supposed to pay you? Like, give you cash? <laughs> Are you taking a credit card? Like, what do you do? I, I don't know how that works, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to yeah. So after that, we are we're going to go pick the figures up. I do the unboxing at home. Do a car wash because man, my car has been sitting inside my garage in the city for weeks. I mean, I take it out obviously, but I haven't been able to get a car wash. And it's a little different, you know, when you ha when you live at home in the suburbs or something, or even at your own apartment, and you leave the car outside, it might get dusty, it might get dirty, but it's not that bad. But when you leave it in the garage in a building where it's dusty, you know, sometimes there's dust from the ceiling that goes on it. Who knows what goes on inside those garages. Your car gets back a little bit dirty and dirtier sometimes. And it kind of sucks, so I gotta wash this. And every single time I take my car out on the weekends or during the week, it's always raining or something. Or I don't have enough time to get a car wash. Or I have like a gift card to the specific car wash I want to go to, but it's either too far or I don't have enough time. So yeah, I think we have plenty of time today to do that. And then I'm going to do a car review for my car, actually, because I've been wanting to do this, you know. I have I have a Hyundai Tucson, which does not, I feel like, get the credit that it deserves. So I'm going to try to do my best to do a nice, pleasant review, because I just passed over 5,000 miles. I had this car for almost 10 months, and I only, I only have 5,000 miles on it. Uh, but I, I love this car a lot, so top model, man. Ultimate Edition.
can't get any better than that. So we'll do that too. All right, so let's uh, do the magic of video editing and end up at the post office. All right, guys, we get the slip. Now we can go one on one with the U.S. Postal Service and see what is the deal. All right. Uh, fun fact, fun cool thing. I was checking my mail, and I got my global entry card. And if you guys don't know what the global entry is, basically, if you go on international flights, you don't have to wait on that ridiculous line because it is too crazy. The last trip I went on to Hong Kong, uh, leaving New York is fine. Coming back into New York, New York is another problem. The line for customs must have been like two hours long. I was gonna kill myself. Jeez. And I don't want to go through that again. So me and my my wife, we got global entry cards. You gotta go through the whole process. You know, you sign sign up a full form. That takes like a half an hour, and then you go and schedule an interview with the city, and then you're good. I got my card. I'm good to go. So now we have global entry. Not only that. Uh, so Globe Entry, you get to basically wait on a shorter line, or you do a kiosk. Three miles. The destination is, nice. is on your left. Oh, right here. Okay, park. Yes, but anyway, Globe Entry, you don't have to wait in a crazy line. You do a kiosk, and also you have when you have Global Entry, you have TSA PreCheck, which is awesome. So TSA PreCheck, you know, you don't have to go through all that metal detector stuff. You go through a short. You do still have to do it, but you go to a shorter line which will make it a lot easier for you. Alright, where can I park? I guess it's not school anymore, so people are parking here. Where is the postal service? I don't think I've ever been to this postal this office my whole life. I guess, oh, there it is. Is that? Oh no, hillside. My bad, I'm just trying to find out where the heck this place is. I don't think, like I said, I don't think I've ever gone to the post office my whole life in my own town, which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. I think it's right there. Alright, so there's the postal service. Let's go. Alright, guys. So we got the package. It's going to the trunk. This thing is huge. So, I was talking to the postal woman. So let me put this in. Alright, so we got the package. Alright, so like I said before, we got the package. We paid. So, I was talking to the attendant at the postal service and basically what they said was the sender obviously paid a certain amount for the shipping. However, they didn't take into account the size of the box they used, the weight of it. They just put any shipping label they wanted basically. And I, on the other hand, have to pay the rest. So what she did say to do is that what you should do if it's a store, she said, um, it happens sometimes, she says. So what you want to do is take a picture of your receipt, scan it to them, take a picture of the shipping label that they used, of how much they used also, and then you know you put it with this and that shows the weight and the amount was actually due. So I had to send all that to Dorkside toys and we will see how what happens but you know that's kind of disappointing um, just for you guys to know in the future if you guys do use Dorkside toys maybe you have used it and they never had a problem uh, but this is what happened to me at least so it's the first time it ever happened to me to be honest so something new but we'll see how it goes I'll keep you guys updated and yeah so right now we are gonna go we got our, we got our figures that's the best that is the most important part we got our toys and we will now go on with the rest of the day. It's time to wash the car.
guys, we are going to wash our car, wash the car, right here. Alright guys, so I'm pretty much going to head back to the city now and we will do the unboxing there. I'm not going to do a video review on the car because I am so tired and so hot from washing the car. Jesus Christ. But, we've got my little Slurpee right here, my snack for the ride back. Let's go. Trusty knife out. Just bought this knife actually. It's pretty cool. Can't cut. Now we can open it. And there we go. Marvel Legends, six inch night Marvel Knights Legends. Yeah. Forgive me for my one-handed video taping. Didn't want to set up a tripod and whatnot. See the tops already. Don't know what that is. Deadpool? No. Bullseye? Maybe. No, that's Bullseye. What is this? I'm trying to figure it out. Blade. Yeah. That must be Electra. Jessica Jones, Punisher, Punisher, Daredevil, and Daredevil. I got the eight pack. So I have two Daredevils, I have two Punishers. Let's pull out the Punisher first. Very nice. Daredevil out. Pretty cool. Where's my blade? You guys prefer him with hair or bald? I kind of prefer him bald. It's pretty nice, nice looking armor. Can't wait to do reviews on these. Jessica Jones. And we have Bullseye. It's pretty cool. 
Remember I told you guys I actually ordered two of these, one from Big Bad Toy Store and from Dorkside Toys. So, so I was actually planning to um, cancel whatever came last. You know, if this one shipped first, then I'll cancel the other one and whatnot. But they were shipped in the same time without letting me know. Literally the same exact day. So I'm, I have two of these now. I have two cases of eight that I'll be having at my disposal. So I might be selling a couple of them. So I'll let you guys know if you guys want anything. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and spending the day with me. And like always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do what everyone's paying attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace.